Um, I just want to know, am I the drama? Because the way that these songs have been dropping so early and y'all have been so up and ready for them to release, I thought sleeping in until 8 o'clock is like... I thought it was a blessing. Apparently, everybody wakes up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Kendrick wakes up at... I don't even know what time it is. What is Kendrick doing at 6.16 in the morning? Is he doing his food ups? Like, what? what is... what? What's going on? What's really going on? And Golden Castro, that's so funny because you're so right. Like, yesterday, I was like... I think I'm kind of over it, y'all. I don't know. I think, like, which is crazy, too, because Euphoria was so good. I'm still, like, dissecting Euphoria. And, like, every time I listen, I'm still finding new little Easter eggs and bars and whatever, whatever. And so for you to drop a whole nother track is kind of mind-blowing to me. And it's also mind-blowing, too, because yesterday when we streamed i think it was mark dropped it in the chat mark was like yo drake might release at midnight and we're like oh, okay we'll see what happens if we listen we listen i don't know but then he didn't release anything and i think his best friend um ak actually went on his stream and was like um oh yeah it's been confirmed drake's not dropping anything whatever whatever and so to wake up this morning to kendrick dropping yet another diss track Y'all, I have not seen hate like this so early in the morning since high school. Y'all remember in high school when people used to wake up at the crack of dawn and hop on the bus and be ready to fight? That's what this is giving to me. And so this is kind of insane that we're back again in the same damn week. This is wild. 616 in LA. Here we go. Thanks, Joe. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Uh, mm. yeah. There's survival, survival. I think somebody lying. Smell somebody lying. I smell somebody lying. I see no fire. That makes sense. Yeah. Off white sun seeker at the marina. Fuck a phantom, I like the bike. Off yes, white sun seeker. Wine cooler, spill on my white t shirt, the sightseer. Trifecta, money, morals, and culture. That's my leisure, my visa. Passport tatted, I shall hub in the visa. Luke Kelly's dwellings in Brooklyn just to book me some pizza. Who can reach us? Only God can teleport this type of freedom. God, huh, my confession is yours. But who am I if I don't go to war? There's opportunity when living with loss. I discover myself when I'm far short. Sure. Raise my Hands to a fallen sky. I fantasize me jumping planets and mortal lies. I correspond. Three angels watching me all the time. Put my children to sleep with a prayer. Then close my eyes. Definition of peace. Tell me who goes down. Another father love. bar. Still cover my heart. Then open me up. Remember when picked up a pin. Lyrics that I can trust. Timmy so staring in the mirror. Asking where I was from. Often I know this type of power has gone cost. But I live in circadian rhythms of a shooting star. The mannerisms of Raphael. I can heal and give you art. But the industry's cooked as I pick the carcass apart. Yeah, somebody's lying. I can see the vibes on act. Even he looking compromised. Let's peel the layers back. Ooh. Ain't no brownie points will be in your chest. Harassing ant. Fucking with good people. Make good people go to bed. Conspiracies about cash, dog. That's not even the leak. Find the Jews like cash, dog. I just need you to think. Are you finally ready to play? Have you ever? Let's see. Have you ever thought that OVO is working for me? Make bully. I hate bullies. You must be a terrible person. Everyone inside your team is whispering that you deserve. Can't twist his slide about it. This one is just gonna resurface. Every dog gotta have his day. Now live in your purpose. It was fun until you start to put money in the streets. Then lost money because they came back with no receipts. I'm sorry that I live a boring life. I love peace, but war ready if the world is ready to see you. I know that's right. KTW, no, you can't sleep. These images trouble you. Know the wires in your circle should puzzle you. If you were street smart, then you would have caught that your entourage is only to hustle you. A hundred niggas that you got on salary and 20 of them want you 
as a casualty and one of them is actually next to you and two of them is practically tired of your lifestyle just don't got the audacity to tell you but let me tell you some game cause I can see you my little homie you playing dirty with propaganda hit blow up on you you playing nerdy with Zach Bia and Twitter bots but your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Oh, oh, means is oh, oh. steam. They figured you out. The first opinions is not convincing. Y'all need a new route. It's time that you look around on who's around you before you figure that you're not alone. Ask what Mike would do. Oh, there was like a buildup in the middle of that, like in the background. It sounded so eerie. Oh, shit. You know what? Oh. So, first of all, let me pull up the lyrics because I feel like we really need to uh, break this down. But this was scary. Euphoria was like, you know, we're all bopping and, you know, was it the braids and like all of that? This? I would be very afraid. This is scary. Kendrick, what do you know? This is very... <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's very Tales from the Hood. Yeah, this is kind of eerie. This is kind of nuts. Yeah, he, He's kind of moving like Jigsaw. And so that's what I was saying before um, the stream crash. It's crazy the time in which this dropped. Because yesterday there were like hella rumors about... Um, there were hella rumors about Drake dropping a response to Euphoria last night, and then that was confirmed that it didn't happen. So for Kendrick to drop this track, when he already made like a reference to back to back, I'm gonna get back to, yeah, that's cute. But for him to drop this track the next morning is really interesting to me. And it's also really interesting to me that Kendrick is in this song talking about leaks. The weekend already said you got leaks in your camp whatever whatever but what's interesting about this entire like beef thing to me is a lot of the songs that I guess he's only rolled out two songs but like for the songs that Drake has rolled out the rollout has been really like it's been weird especially like if you move aside the ai song especially with like push-ups coming out in the way that it was like is it ai is it not ai it's weird and then like all these people know don't even worry drake got something he he about to drop today he about to drop tomorrow and it's like everybody knows when things are happening and it's so different seeing how kendrick moves and you really don't you really don't know when Kendrick is gonna drop you you really don't know what time of the morning he's gonna drop and I just think that's so interesting but I do want to know what Kendrick knows because that sounded eerie as hell okay so y'all are breaking things down about 616 I've heard that 6, 6, 6 616 is Euphoria's premiere date 616 is Canadian Father Day. 616 is Tupac's birthday. 616 is what else? It's somebody said Proverbs 616. And that's how you know the rat beef is serious because Charlie that opened up the Bible. That's how you know it's beef. 616 is what? When the OJ case was? Like what? Okay, uh, Joe, let me hop in the waiting room. Hold on. Um... Hello? Hello? Yeah, all right. Oh, I'm so I'm sorry, Joe. It's just been a it's been a wild morning. Everything been crashing. I'm sorry. Good morning. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. I'm feeling good. Feeling not, good. not be rushing you. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. I was in here chilling. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been going through it, child. Okay. Um, yeah. How do y'all okay? First of all, hi Joe. Hi Mark, by the way. How are y'all feeling about 616 in LA? I feel like it's eerie as hell. It is eerie. It's like that you get somebody angry and they just they're just calm. That's what it feels like. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like it's like, yeah, I don't want I don't want to mess with him. He's too calm about this. Yeah. So it's like, ah. Yeah, it's almost like you keep poking a sleeping bear. So it's weird because 
like Euphoria, there was so many bars that like were still saying, was it the braids and like all of these things. And it's like, you know, it's weird because to me, Euphoria seemed like a diss track, but mm. this song feels like a warning. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah. And that's creepy. Well, that's 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 eerie. I'm a little nervous. I don't know. Cause like just like how he said in the song, pretty much he said, I stay home. So you put money out the streets to figure stuff out, but you're not gonna find that because I stay home. So it's like what what you gonna do? Uh, what do you, you know, know Kendrick like? Lamar? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love because whether it's true or not, him even just alluding to the fact that there might be people in OVO camp. Yeah. Working and giving like information to Kendrick directly. Yeah. Just in like, as we know, of course we don't know him personally, but as much as we know of Drake throughout this entire, like his entire like career and him being like so public, he's very paranoid and insecure. That's going to eat at him so bad i'm sure i'm sure sh- this is the mole he might be he's been, he been talking too much i feel like he oh, might be jesus i feel like the ovo group chat is in shambles oh in shambles. absolutely absolutely because it's like you know you that, already okay. got in trouble because 40 right. you know what i'm saying gave the information to, or not even gave the information was pillow talking and pusha t got the information that's so now this, yeah, this is second now time that's like mold. yeah now it's like oh who the who who is it who is it because is y'all pillow talking again what what's the case what, what's going right. on here yeah you know that episode of martin where he was like walking around with the fake dog with the fake dog yeah yeah <laughs> it's, it's i think that's how drake is walking around yeah <laughs> anybody want to tell me who come on now don't you all speak at once <laughs> <laughs> a table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is um I think somebody lying, smell somebody lying. Why he call my off white sun seeker? No, is that... so I, I the sun seeker is actually a boat. So I had I had to look that up. You so better know. Come I, on, well, tell me, tell me. So I looked it up because I thought when he said off white, I thought he was talking in the gloves. I'm thinking Virgil. Okay, right, right. So I was like, oh, mm. so I'm thinking the Sun Seekers, I thought those were the glasses. That's not it. So sun, those aren't the thing. But he said off white. And then he said, I buy, what do you say, a Maybach? Uh, instead, or I buy a boat instead of a Maybach? So I was like, hey, what is this? What does the glove have to do with this? So I'm like, yeah. what is what is going on? So I'm trying not to, to think too much into it, but that's what I thought at first. But I, I have no idea. So I think he's talking about just an off white boat in the marina that he, that he's on. Right. You don't think it's a, I, I don't know. It kind of sounds like because he's a uh, biracial. Like that's that's what I was. That's saying. what it. That's what it. Yeah, that's what I thought too. But I'm like, well, what's the sun seeker? Because I'm like, if you're thinking biracial, then you're thinking people don't want to be outside. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. I, I have no idea. Maybe we're maybe we're digging too deep into it. Maybe it was maybe it was just meant to be funny, child. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to be like, oh, I got to put my tinfoil tinfoil do rag on. I don't, we I don't, you know what I'm not a tinfoil do rag. That's nuts. <laughs> 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 That's nuts. Somebody in chat said read somewhere that maybe Drake's driver is the leak and that the Sun Seeker is referring to one of Drake's cars, which is off white, and that fits with the maybe these are driving gloves. Mm. Mm. yeah no i just when you said off-white and then you said i buy a boat instead of a maybach or a phantom because virgil virgil has the you know what i'm saying the um mm-hmm. the, oh the, the thing yeah. so I, that's what yeah. i was thinking didn't drake have an off-white car in one of his videos the yes, video? that's, mm. that's the virgil one yep. wait in what in what vi- in what video i think it was sticky, sticky. Mm. i think it was sticky it's not like that's the thing like i think with the other songs because they were so upbeat like we were like oh the energy is up but this like yeah. you said it's, it's eerie it's just yeah. like yeah <laughs> it's because then people were say- okay yeah but then like, people were no saying no joke in this i'm just i'm talking to you now ain't, like, like, ain't, yeah. ain't, ain't shit like, funny what is it the braids <laughs> like you know it was like <laughs> you know it was like you know um 
it, it was like that's just cringeworthy like stuff like that like you know the whole sexy red thing but i do like this because it's showing that like push a t <laughs> it is that's so dope because it's showing that's like oh i can i can joke around and do the funny shit with you and i can make it a hit yeah I can make it funny enough to make it a hit it's been yeah. number one since and but now but don't remember like i can also switch it and and we can we can we can sit and talk right but then we're also missing the stuff so taylor swift's producer produced the song so technically it's taylor made what taylor made what? yeah yes this is technically taylor made Producer Taylor Maid's producer. Jack? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> then also oh. they're saying they're yeah, saying yeah. that Drake's uncle was a bassist or guitarist for Al Green, who did the sample. Yep. What? Yes. Okay, well, wait, what was the sample? It was Al Green. What was the song? Uh, love is a wonderful thing or something like that which is petty because the al green twitter account posted it the the dang on song now my, yep. now mind you a, a couple years ago i just found out that al green was still with us i thought he went on oh, to glory on. years ago i know i I, I didn't know y'all i really didn't know so who you died by the grit <laughs> am i tripping listen, who listen. i mean shout out to al green i'm glad he's still with us now you're saying that on the original Al Green song, Drake's uncle was the guitarist. Is that guitarist or bassist, one of the two. So I looked it up. Oh my god! It didn't say he. It didn't say he for sure was on. Like he didn't get credit for that song, but someone posted in Discord that his uncle kind of was around that time. Like you know, what I'm saying was around. I think it was Scotty, Scotty or twelve fourteen. One of them. Um, I posted it in there, so I was like, this is kind of. Because we know that his dad was the musician Jesus. that played with a bunch of people. So it's awesome. just like... So this is it's, calculated. That's what I'm saying. It's Unless you know for a fact, there's so many things that could fit. You know what I'm saying? So then it's like, are we yeah, reaching are for we that? Reaching? Or is it actually that? And that's the thing about Kendrick. I feel like you never really know if you're reaching or not. And he not really going to clear it up either. He's just like, yep. <laughs> Take it how you yeah. want. I don't know. Let me see. Ain't no brownie points for being your chest. Harass an aunt. Who's aunt? Oh, this is Tender. Kendrick's manager. Oh, I think mm. so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it said because after. Think, oh, go ahead. That might, be the, that might be the dude when Drake was posting them stories, but he was trying to get Kendrick to bait. Uh huh. Like the IG stories. That might oh. be. Oh. That might be him. It says, awaiting Lamar's response to push-ups, Drake uploaded two pictures of Kendrick's manager, Ant, yeah. to his Instagram mm -hmm. story. One depicting Ant with the OVO bag in hand, the other being a close-up selfie of him. Jesus. Oh, yeah. my God. Okay, so, ain't, oh, my God. Ain't no brownie points for being your chest, harassing Ant, fucking with good people, make good people go to bat. Conspiracies about cash, dog? That's not even the leak. Find the jewels like Cash Doll. I just really need you to think. And she talking about she got somebody something about jewelry getting stolen, but I'm after she argued with KD about who the real KD is, I just said, <laughs> oh, we just gonna leave it you alone. You got it. Yeah, we just gonna leave it alone. You you gonna get the Queen Naja treatment. We just had to put you to the side. Oh dear. Okay, wait. And then Kendrick also name drops Cash Doll referencing a uh robbery that took place when she had 500k worth of jewelry stolen Whoa. jesus christ my god oh god oh additionally she and her ex broke up because of drake which gives jewel a double meaning cash doll oh. is a jewel of a person oh. who tried to find or date drake huh I want to know who be waking up at five o'clock in the morning to decipher these lyrics on genius.com because I appreciate Give you. Them raise. <laughs> Give them a raise. Give them a raise. I'm tired of Kendrick. The ghost. Is <laughs> the ghost. <laughs> Kendrick is Kendrick is waking you and the genius team up. Oh my god. She is insane. Yeah, like I I'm not mad at this track. I'm just I'm scared. I think I'm just scared. Yeah. And that's the thing. It's mm -hmm. like like I said, it's you just too calm about it. But it's like 
it goes back to if we want to go to war, we can go to war. But this this even when he said about the toy bots and uh, Zach Bia, someone had put a screenshot on the timeline of who's how that, those bots who's, like who's Zach Bia? He's a, a DJ. Uh, I don't know for sure like what he's actually like popular for, but he's a DJ or something like that. So okay, I, I don't really know what he does. I just know the name. Okay. But mm-hmm. I think if you look on Twitter, there was like a bunch of bots or so- something. With, I don't know what the hell was going on. There was a bunch of bots pretty much saying Kendrick Lamar. Something about a settlement. Like, but you can oh see the bots. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. I, oh, yes. Okay, so yeah. he's saying that that was Zach Bia? Pretty much them messing with bots or something. Yeah. Bye, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Oh Bye. my God, I do remember that. There was like a time and I don't know. Oh, it says it was late uh, 2023 where it was like a bunch of pictures of Pusha T and it was so weird. Yeah, what was it, like salamanders or something? It was weird it and was there were so it many was, of oh, them. That was mad weird. Oh. But that, but that's the thing, it's like between these stands and between the bots because you say anything. I mean, if you tweet out something about Drake, you're gonna have a bunch of responses and you could have like two followers, you know what I mean? So it's like, who look at, who looking this up? Who looking this up oh. and why? why? Okay, wait, let me read what Junior said. Uh, Zach Bia is a well-known figure in the nightlife scene. Um, blase, blase, oh, no. blase. He has connections with Drake. Um, well, well um, this line <laughs> suggests Drake is using Zach Bia in some manipulative way to gain uh, or advance his agenda or tarnish Kendrick's reputation. It implies that Drake is not playing fair and is resorting to tactics that involve leveraging relationships or influences in the entertainment industry to gain an advantage. Kendrick additionally accuses Drake of using Twitter bl- bots to slander his name, just like how Pusha T's name went trending due to bots accusing him of random things and i can't pull up the pictures but i'll find the pictures for the video later but yes i remember that and that was insane because it just it came out of nowhere and there were so many of them yes so it's just like is it corny is it is it tactical warfare like what is it It, it's uh, it's like bro if you want to talk shit talk shit don't go hide your hand just yeah oh this is mm, (laughs) this is messy okay and then the last bar um before you figure that you're not alone ask what mike would do now are we talking michael jackson again is michael catching yet another stray is that what's happening you know this mike versus prince battle versus battle mike (laughs) (laughs) we should should do the battle (laughs) Ah, okay, let me I see. I think they're mm-hmm. saying that that could also be like, in, that could also be tied of like, uh, you know, uh, like another Mike song, like he did in Euphoria, where he talked about, I got a Benjamin in my house. Like, yeah. Bang the rat. Mm-hmm. Hey, yeah, that was what I said. They talked about uh, the pet rat. Yeah, so <laughs> like, a pet rat. Poor so, ben. like, in Euphoria, he mentioned a pet rat. Right. But you know, a rat is also a snitch. And now in this one, he's asking, before you figure you're not alone, ask what Mike would do. So he's saying, like, you you got a you got a rat in your camp, pretty much. Because he's like, I got a Benjamin in my house like oh. Joe, like Joe Jackson. You know what I'm saying? MJ also had been a pet rat. But he's ah. saying there's somebody close mm. to you that's a rat. You better call Crody. <sighs> so he says, <laughs> yeah. you figure out, it's, that, that's why he says, it's time that you look around on who's around you before you figure that you're not alone. Ask what Mike do. Oh. So he's saying somebody very close to you, like a pet rat, would be close to MJ at, when he made that song. Somebody you very close to you alone. is a rat. Oh. <laughs> oh. You know what I'm saying? Boom. This is this is this is insane. Oh, this is yeah. nuts. This is <laughs> I be feeling so smart. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is nuts. Wow. My question is what would as a people, what would make us satisfied from Drake at this point? How do you respond in a way that still keeps you relevant in this battle because at this point it feels like but this goes that goes back to my <laughs> what i said in the last one 
it doesn't matter what Drake does. People are just going to say it's corny. It's trash. It's, it, it doesn't, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter. It, it, it's goofy. It's it. It doesn't matter what he does. There's ah. another side of that too, where no matter what he does, you're going to have Drake stands. That's going to think it's the greatest thing in the world. Of course. True. Yeah. Of course. Of so course. That, that's what kind of makes his beef a little, a little hard because although yes, it may be something fire. You, you get info that nobody else knew. You know what I'm saying? You could drop the most disrespectful, whatever. Yeah. The, the stand, the stand's gonna make it kind of, I won't say insufferable, but the stand's gonna make it hard to listen to because just like the song yeah. might have been good, but then the stands make it hard for you to be like, I want to back this. You know what I'm saying? It just make, it makes right. it really, really hard. Yeah. So it's just like, and we, were, me and Mark were talking about this yesterday. Yep. You could put something out that it, that is the, like I said, the most disrespectful. The stands, the dick riding, excuse my language. No, no, it, it's fine. No, you you say your piece, Joe. You say your piece. It's it just it's just gonna it's it's gonna make it hard no matter what whatever he puts out. It's just gonna make it hard because just like the same way that people were like Kendrick put the song out and it was mid, it was mid. Yeah, it's like everybody else, you know what I'm saying? But it's like, are you actually fans of the music and hip hop in general? Because everybody else is gonna be like, oh, you know what I'm saying? This is good lyrical exercise. But then the stand is just gonna make it difficult to be like, I y'all just making it corny, even more corny. So, so right. that's the part that's very interesting to me. Like throughout this entire uh, rap beef, is how different the two sides are. Because mm -hmm. I do feel like for the Drake side, as long as you put a song out and as long as you can kind of bop to it it's 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 good like you don't really yeah. need to break too much down to be honest again i wasn't that impressed with push-ups because you're saying he has a, a size seven shoe and you called him a pip squeak that's not really going to <laughs> right. move me that's really yeah, not right. gonna do anything for me so it has been interesting seeing how the two sides are so different and how the kendrick side is like no let's actually break this down like do you hear what kendrick is saying though do you yeah. see like the multiple ways that this could be broken down and this is a shot? Not that Kendrick is a pip squeak and he split yeah. and he split his pants. Ain't nobody wanna hear that. Get that shit out of here. <laughs> but but then also at the same time, it turns into Kendrick stands kind of turn into the J. Cole ones where it's like Yes, I was gonna say that. You gotta, too. You gotta, you gotta have a 3.0 to understand mm -hmm. this. It's just like mm -hmm. Even when Kendrick yeah. say you make music to pacify him, I make music to electrify him mm -hmm. or something like that. Mm -hmm. Albeit, yes, and someone else brought up a good point. It was like, he could be talking about kid, pacify as yeah, a kid. Right. I'm like, that's wild. Yeah. Um, but it's like the, the same thing where it's just like, some of the, the fandoms are kind of watering down the beef because it's like, we're here because we, we enjoy the music. Mm -hmm. But then some of y'all just taking it too far, i.e. the timeline yesterday. Y'all are taking it too far yeah. and just blowing it way out of proportion where it's like, some people care, some people don't care. So it's like, just give us the music. That's that's what we want. We want the lyrical exercise. Real hip hop fans want the lyrical exercise. That's what we want. Right, exactly. That That's exactly how I feel too. Um, Calmar said, I was wondering how this was gonna go because what helped Pusha T whenever Drake was destroying the nice guy image that Drake had. And Drake has changed his image drastically since that beef, which is interesting to mm. me too, Ooh. because if you think about how Drake first came into this industry, he was the nice guy. He was that guy in the trench coat during the fall looking cozy <laughs> in the comeback yep. season. Like, honestly, that's the Drake that I like. Exactly what Kendrick said. Like, the, the Drake that be doing hooks and melodies and all that. Yeah, I Heck. could do that. But this mom's ties business? Yeah. Jay Prince. It's that finger. That? It's the is finger. That? It's that finger. Hey. <laughs> what happened to the Drake that, like, if you diss me, we'll never hear a reply for it? What happened to that one? Yeah. I think... I think Cloud is one hell of a drug. That's yeah. fair. That's fair. Someone said, right. someone, that TikTok, she was saying, you know, Drake just picks up different personas going throughout his career. Yeah. And the last one that he picked up, there was like, oh, he picked up uh, uh, Future, but Future really never said like, oh, I'm a street dude. I do this, that, and the third. Mm. But then, <laughs> who said he misused his influence? All right, 1214. <laughs> 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 uh, but then they're saying like, you know, he picked up, 24 21 set not 24 jesus 21 oh. savage and just like bro we don't we don't believe this we don't believe you're your killer out here bro we don't we don't believe this like where did so, this come from why are you yeah. speaking like this who have you yes. been around we know you're not a killer we saw you on degrassi 
we what guess. are you talking about? Right. And then on Degrassi, you got shot. You wasn't even the killer <laughs> on the show. Yeah. Oof. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Pain. 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 Where is this coming from? So yeah, it's just so wild just to see how the <laughs> how the image, but also like the perception of Drake has changed throughout the years. And clearly you don't want to be the nice guy anymore. So unfortunately, this comes with the territory. I feel like people are not gonna fuck with you after a certain point. Facts. But and, and it's crazy because like I think he definitely got it twisted where like there's a definitely a line of like or side of like not being the nice guy sure yeah don't let people push you over this yeah third, yeah but like you actively was it overcompensated yeah to be the bully to be like oh if people don't want i can't be the nice guy anymore now i'm just gonna be a it's, freaking terror but it's weird right because it's like so weird. it's it's this persona of like not being the nice guy anymore i'm going to be the bully but i'm also going to like throw stones and hide my hand too yeah, it's like exactly. you can't do both if you're going to fully lean into this then lean you got, into you got it step, yeah yeah but like if you're you, gonna be the villain yeah. be the villain yeah but you can't be playing victim at the same time texting your mom talking about oh rick ross said <laughs> i got a nose shop with that like what are we what are we right. doing <laughs> what are we doing and then also you can't play the victim when on push-ups you directly you directly mentioned kendrick's wife so yeah you did that gotta stop doing you it. did that the last time with push your t so it's like what stop, what do you expect push your t said <laughs> push your t said you go low i'm going to i'm going to the i'm core. going to hell <laughs> exactly <laughs> there is no too far there is and i i i respect that because it's like fuck it if you're gonna if we're gonna go there we're gonna go there we're gonna we, go we, there we're, right we're gonna go there and you're not gonna like me and look what happened you know what i'm saying but it's like if someone brought up a good point, what is the end result of this? I don't know. They, you know what I'm saying? Know. It's just, at, at the end of the day, it's just going to be like, look, we just don't rock with each other at this point because I don't think if we're going back and forth like this and I have to bring my art into it, bro, just whenever you see me, don't talk to me. Don't try to give me no fake debt. I, I don't care. I don't yeah. care. I just don't rock with you. I, I don't know. I don't know where you go from this. I was even like last night, I was even trying to think about rap beefs that have happened in the past and like how things are like, we know the biggest rap beef. I feel like it's mm -hmm. still Biggie and Tupac. I don't want that type mm -hmm. of situation. Yeah. To happen. Yeah, let me, not. let me no. be very, very clear. Like some people are like, yeah, no. you got to pull a gun out, but like legitimately we don't want nobody to die. No, um, no. but like, yeah. I'm even thinking about other rap beefs, like even think about like Nikki and Remy, for instance, there got to a point where it's like, well, no, Sheether came out and did Nikki respond with the track with Drake and Lil Wayne or was yeah. that before? Uh, yeah. Uh, that might've been after I that. I think, I think, I, I think that was after that because I think that's when in re I think that's when Nikki kind of took that Drake approach of us like, oh, I'm just gonna like make a hit, just yeah, it on a hit long type of thing. Because if we're being honest, I feel like if you take that rap beef, Sheath or one, no fraud, oh, no, yeah. no frauds. Yeah, it had Drake and Lil Wayne on it. But if we're talking about like lyrical content. I feel like either yeah. one. <laughs> like but that's that's the thing. It's always hard to because it's like most people are going to judge the rap beef off of what you say on the song. Other people are like, oh, but it's a number one song. So guess what? You you broke. You broke. And it's just like, bro. Yeah. Are we what are we judging it off of? Yeah. And that's annoying too. Like basing how good a song is off of numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Numbers? Can you drop this on Instagram? Like, bro, it's not <laughs> even on streaming. So you can't even be like, oh, this is a number one song. And okay. that's crazy because Euphoria is a number one song. It is a yes. number one song. But yeah, still, and got, yeah, so it's like, it's funny. But still, like, even if I was having a conversation with someone, I wouldn't bring up, oh, well, that's why Euphoria yeah. is number one on the charts. To me, that's <laughs> like, so corny. What? Like, that doesn't, yeah. that doesn't do anything for me. That's so corny. You got to shoot a video in front of the KFC that his dad got robbed at. That's what you got to do. Oh, you, my God. You call, it, you call it the heart part six God. You got to do that. Oh, you gotta do. You gotta. Oh, you gotta, I, if Kendrick gonna take the timestamp, you gotta take the heart series. That's what you, you gotta yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. 
He's not. He's yeah. not. He's not going down to LA. Not at a time like this. You and gotta, I, you and I the, would not you recommend. Get the, the, you gotta get the van uh, that was into um, Good Kid, Mad City, and shoot a video in front of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah just, just drive around in the van. <laughs> Like what else? What else do you do at this point? Like I don't. Maybe he could apologize, like J Cole. I don't see it. I don't. Not I don't see it. That's not happening. He will. Not, he will I not take that. It. He will not take that L. He got way too much pride. He gonna post his little Instagram story. Also, can I? Say, I gotta be my. I gotta be a dad. Can and I disappear? Can I say for the record? Well, actually, let's go back because uh, Kendrick says something about memes, didn't he? He did. He did. He did. Yeah. <clears throat> These memes won't save you. Uh, Everybody, we're figuring you out or something like that. Your reality can't hide behind Wi-Fi. Your little meme, your little memes is losing steam. They figured you out. I thought, and maybe I'm reaching, <clears throat> but when we listened to Euphoria the other day, and like instantly we were talking about like, I hate the way that you walk. I hate the way that you talk. We're like, oh yeah, that's that's the DMX interview. Like we remember that. Mm -hmm. I thought it was so weird, maybe, and maybe disconnected. I don't know that Drake posted that Instagram story from Ten Things I Hate About You. Yeah, that was so and I was disconnected. Like, it was like, <laughs> no, we know, <laughs> we know what you watch growing up. <laughs> that's not. <laughs> that's like, not oh, even. That's not Oh, oh, we didn't even. Oh, oh uh -huh. poor baby, you don't even know. Uh -huh. <laughs> and so, oh, <laughs> oh what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you even post that? But low key, it kind of went back to what uh, Kendrick was saying. Was like, are you even? And let me be clear: there, <laughs> there, there, there are so many different ways to be a part of Black culture. But I do yeah. feel like with some things, it's like, hmm? what made you, what made yeah, you what go with you, that what video? What, <laughs> what, what made you do that? That's kind of. The funk flex. What, what, what made you go with that bar? What is, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. That was, that was weird to me. I don't know. Um, but I again, think, oh, I, go ahead. Mm -hmm. No, my bad. I, I think it's a telling of two things. One, I think it definitely tells Drake's upbringing, but I think it also tells that Drake knows the side of his fan base. Mm. So like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like we knew it was DMX. <laughs> His fan base may have never seen that interview to know. So like they, but they know the 10 things I hate about you thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I feel like it could go both ways. It could be that, or it could be, why would I post a meme of DMX talking shit about me? Why would you post yeah, it all true. though? Why would you even? But then, true. but then also, I think it was act last night was trying to say, oh, Kendrick stole these bars from somebody else about the, oh, Jesus, the YMW Melly and everything. Else, Cause somebody used it in battle rap. So you try to say, oh, Kendrick stole these bars. They're not even his bars. It's just like an easy bar to put together. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, you Mark, you said you want to rap? <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not Mark, Mark said, I could have did that. I'm not getting the booth. Give me the microphone. I could have did that. <laughs> yeah, I I don't know. And 10 Things I Hear About You is a real cute mu movie, but like that's not, I feel like that's yeah. not where a lot of a lot of people's minds went when they no. heard that. I don't know. It's interesting to me. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know what you come with after this. I really don't. Mm. If he feels he has that and he feels ever so confident after these two, when do you think he drops? You think he drops tonight? But the thing is. Remember the first one took him an hour or two. And he did drop Duppy Freestyle the same day. Oh, did uh, he? Push his album dropped. Yeah. Well, as soon as he heard infrared, Duppy dropped same day. So But the thing is too, for me at least, I feel like the bar is different. So another reason yeah. why I kind of fell out of my love with Drake is because he consistently puts out stuff all the time, but it's not necessarily quality, you know? Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, yeah if you're if you're going to rush to put something out, that's great. But it needs to be so heavy hitting and detrimental and just monumental. If you don't have that, then 
yeah don't don't pull up here with no honestly never mind type of type of feel <laughs> like no it needs yeah. to be huge and i just i don't know how you i don't know where you go from here i just i don't know i to me it just seems like kendrick's i'm sure there's somebody out there that is preying on kendrick's downfall but to me it just seems like he's Very well fan. respected in these streets so who's out here talking or leaking shit about kendrick i don't really but here's the thing even if you even if you are leaking information i feel like neighborhood is gonna be like let's get them like you know say go show up with pitchforks because like yeah i'm gonna say kendrick is the, the hood savior but Kendrick, you know what I'm saying? Kendrick means a lot to LA. So if yeah. you out here going against LA, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like Right. And and give or take, like that's the one thing that is not the one thing, but that is a big thing that the West Coast does kind of have. Like they they are very loyal. And to, are to their, loyal to, to the people, soil. Yep. Yep. To their people. Mm -hmm. And and <laughs> if you think people are gonna backstab kendrick especially you know of course uh unfortunately especially after nipsey they not bad. yeah, they can't yeah. Up on kendrick like you that. can't even walk up on that block where the store is absolutely not nope. so you think like, the next like the next because like people really respected nipsey and people of course really respect people still really respect nipsey i shouldn't say that people still really respect nipsey and people yeah. really respect kendrick and of course after the unfortunate loss of nipsey you think they're gonna help the downfall of one of their own with, and still carrying the torch no which again happening. i found it happening. so bizarre that drake would even pull that ai shit with tupac tupac yeah. of all people Ridiculous. you think that's because going to slide right because right. <laughs> then if you calling people in la after what you did pissing <laughs> off tupac the state you think they go <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's what i said like bro you are shit out of luck what you know? <laughs> like you scam likely to them oh you're <laughs> nuts you're nuts literally the you what <laughs> you what <laughs> like you're nuts i don't you know you can't piss off two pox of state and then call around to get dirt on kendrick at the same no yeah and then if even if you do who is going you know what i'm saying who is who the hell is snitching who is snitching which goes back to what kendrick was saying in euphoria I think culturally, why why would you think that's cool? Yeah, that's, that, and that definitely shows your upbringing. That shit's not okay. Yeah, yeah, like that's that's fucking insane. I still can't believe that. Like for the shock factor, okay. And I feel like that's what a lot of people were like arguing. Like, no, this is Kendrick's, uh, you know, his his uh, icon, whatever, whatever. But morally and culturally, I feel like there's certain shit that you don't play with. And that's definitely one of them. Right. That's why I think I, like he was he was just trying to do what kind of like what Kendrick did with the interview, but oh that was an actual God. interview and he chopped up. Yeah, right. that that's not and that irritated me when people were trying to like make those same comparisons. That wasn't the same. Yeah. It's apples to oranges at that at that yeah. point. So it's like, what's the point? Both both samples? Yeah. Oh, bitch. This is, this is. Because he, <laughs> oh yeah, back, back. I like that record. Nasty work. That's the record. Nasty work. Nasty work. How is everyone finding this? Oh, y'all are so tapped in. I love it. Oh my god. He like really fought to be on like Aaliyah's post humus album or something like that. Or did he, he do that with Michael Jackson too? Like that? Bro, fight this man, bro. Wait. Wait. He can't keep wait. getting away with this. Wait, let me, let me, <laughs> wait. He did for Michael Jackson. He did for Aaliyah. To keep it a buck, he does have a little weird obsession with like, especially past with artist. like past artists, current artists, memorabilia, because what was the deal with uh, Pharrell in the melting of the, he bought oh, Tupac's ring. <laughs> wait. Give me a start. Yeah, yeah, what's Hold that on. About? Let's break this down. Hold on. It's just like, it's kind of like a, I'm shitting on you, Nick, because yes, it's like a historical figure, but it's then it's like, I know for a fact he bought the, the Pharrell stuff to melt it down just so he could have that bar to be like, oh, I took your boss's stuff and melted it down. Ew. There was no, there was no reason because that, those pieces itself, although yes, it's a million plus dollars and you bought the shit. It makes no sense for you to buy it and melt it down because those are huge cultural pieces. So if you're really a part of the culture, 
you would frame it or you would get, you know what I'm saying? Like you would, you would just leave it alone. It's giving if you wanted to have it in your collection. It's giving call Yeah. That's wild. Yeah. Wow, that's... So that, the, <laughs> that's it makes no nuts. sense. The Tupac ring. What was the point of that? What was the point? <laughs> no point. He just wanted to flex it in the video. You know what Drake sometimes reminds me of? He Blame. reminds, he reminds oh. me of that kid in school that had hella rich parents and so everybody would go over their house and like jump on the trampoline swim in the pool or whatever but they weren't really nope. rocking with that kid they just kind of wanted to be around because of like what he had access to but that's, but that's, what, what, that's it's, exactly it's, what kendrick it's, said it's that kind you know of energy funny? yeah that's exactly you know, what he said in the song funny. it was also his character in degrassi didn't he have the rich parents? He did, and, he was and his dad was never party? at home. Mm -hmm. He remembers Sean Burns. went over there, and they got and they got into like a fight and stuff. Mm -hmm. Like that's exactly like yeah, you just kind of nailed it. He's I still Jimmy Brooks. I think you still Jimmy Brooks <laughs> because what is this? <laughs> oh, wow, I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't know where you go from here. I really don't.